Welcome back, everyone. Tomorrowwind again. Uh, for a little bit... Oh, I've forgotten the controls. There we go. For a little bit, I wasn't sure if I was actually going to come back to this game. Do I know you? No. Mind your own fucking business. I wasn't sure if I was going to come back, but I decided... You know, I'm not talking to you! I have decided to come back to it because I want to play it myself and I might as well go with it and I know some people will watch it, it won't be as popular and that's absolutely fine. That's not the way now. So I want to start off today, I really want to focus on just getting ready because in the first episode we got released from prison, taken here to Morrowind, we had to find our way to Balmora and we found out the Emperor wanted our release. So we spoke to a guy called Cassius, and he said that he needs to train us. And for us to be trained, we therefore, you know, he said just go find jobs until you're ready. So I think we'll do that next time. In the meantime, I'm just gonna get ready. So we're gonna buy some stuff off this guy. Um, what can I buy off you? That's seven armor, ten, ten, how much? There we go, I hate that noise. And get that helmet, you can have my common shirt, my common pants, and my common shoes. Now, I would like a chest plate if you have one. Oh, that's even better. Uh, can I cancel? Barter. Still get no, it doesn't make a difference. Shit. Got a short sword that does up to eleven damage. That might be our best bet. Okay, we can sell that. We can sell the bowl. We can sell the rat meat. That's, oh, we, we did undo it. Okay, so let's buy what we wanted to get. So we got the sword. I want to get the really good helmet. Iron helmet, 10, I think. Yeah, last time we got a silver one, 7 one. So 10, and then another 10, then another 10. There we go. And then, I think that's what we can get from this guy at the moment. So let's... There we go, got it all. Okay, thank you. Let's put it all on. So I think we just drag it on. There we go. Oh. Grab this one. I'm still getting very used to this, but I've changed the controls a bit. So we should do it a bit better now. So now I can jump as well. I feel a bit naked. But I think the first thing that we should do today is last time when if you saw it. We ran into this young girl, and she said that she was just robbed by bandits. So we're like, oh, can we help? And she's like, yeah, take my glove and find the bandit and <laughs> tell him I love him. So we're gonna go over now. I believe that we had to go to Pelegrad, Pelagiad, Pe uh, Pelagiad. So we'll go over there and see if we can make a true love story. Because wouldn't that be cute? You know, you get robbed and then fall in love with the person that held you at knife point. That is... I mean, it's more romantic than Romeo and Juliet, isn't it? So, we can't really be too fussy. I don't believe... Because I have walked around a little bit in between just to try and figure out what I'm doing. And I don't believe it's too far away. It should be this way. Pelagiard, 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 woo! And then to the right, I believe? Yes, okay. It will take me a little while to get used to this constant commentary because normally all my stuff's really cut up and this is a good hour, hour and a half just talking. So it will be a bit slow at the start, but if you bear with me, I'll hopefully be able to make it worth it. So I have found out that you got like a downward swing if you're standing still 
you sweep to this when you go to the sides and then going forward it's like a forwards and backwards it's like a a jab sort of movement which is really interesting this way so I think if we're hitting something small on the floor we'll go downwards and then anything else if we're keeping our distance a jab it's, it's going to take me a while to get used to it but that's why I'm choosing to focus on getting better equipment getting better at the game before I just go deep in with the with the missions so that way we don't we won't get stuck on a mission for a really long time and <laughs> get angry at it because I want to enjoy this game and hopefully keep it on a, a normal difficulty I have looked at reviews and it did get a 9 out of 10 so it is a really good game it's just hard to imagine it because it's so old so after we found this guy I don't know if it's going to be a long quest line or if it's going to be I see him and they have love or whatever I might have a look at the uh, shops around their area I'm not going to keep saying it <laughs> because I don't want to keep saying it wrong and <laughs> annoying people that love this game to bits so but I think it's Pelagia. Yeah, so this is the, the woman. How that, fairly, friend. That was robbed. <laughs> so we're trying to help her find love. Yeah, let's switch way now. This way. Hopefully we can get there before it gets dark. Now I'm not sure what <laughs> I'm not too sure what's happening in the main quest. Like, I know we have to get orders from Cassius when we're ready, but he wants us. The fact they're advising us to get training first means it's probably not going to be as slow paced as Skyrim would be at the start, where it takes an hour or two to get into even finding out that you are who you are. I don't want to say it, just in case there is anyone that's <laughs> not played Skyrim. It, it's. I feel like it's just going to go straight in with some combat. So again, I just want to be prepared. Because you can never beat being prepared. You'd want to be over-prepared than under-prepared. Hey, we made it, just as it got to night time. Might be able to stay the night too. Evening, mate. Speak freely, friend. Uh, so I have been here before. I believe we... Um... You've been What's your story? Have a talk. Um, there we go, Nilos. I've seen him around. Quiet man keeps to himself. Not too sure what he does, actually. Other folks might know more than I do. Might check in the tavern. So, yeah, I got to the tavern. But what I'd done last time is I'd sold the glove <laughs> trying to get equipment. So, I couldn't do anything. So, I have not seen anything past this point. Are you here about your wounds? You should find healing. What wounds? I'm looking amazing. <laughs> oh, I look like a bodybuilder. Just in those tight thongs. Nilos. Maury's glove. You have what? How odd. She was a lovely young woman, but what would she want with a rogue like me? She is beautiful, though, and she seems sweet. For the first time in my life, I actually felt a little remorse for robbing someone. I should see her again. Here, take this. Tell her you have a note from Nilos. I must see her again. I won't forget this friend. Okay, it's not going to be a back and forth, is it? It's quite a long way. There is someone watching me. I can tell. Are you okay? What, Yakam, me? Speak Ashland? Not speak so good, old elf. Sorry? Have you got any rumours? The Emperor has repealed the war tax. We've heard nothing official here, but it's about damn time. We haven't had a war in ten years, okay? I want to meet this emperor, because he's got me out of prison. But we still have no idea who he is. Which baffles me. So do we... Mm, do we take the risk in the night? Yeah, let's go for it. Might as well keep it going. I'm not talking, so don't know what you're listening for. Make our way back. Wait, is this the right way? I don't want to get lost. I need to go back to Balmora. Oh, Balmora. Balmora. I was going the right way. 
if she sends me straight back here again, it's going to be... <laughs> I'm going to have to buy a scooter or find a way to fast travel. Because I have tried, and I don't, I'm pretty sure you can't just fast travel like you can in Skyrim. It's You can get journeys or um, go on creatures, I believe, to different areas, but you can't just jump from one place to another. Which is kind of annoying, but it also adds to the whole environment. It's just annoying from my point of view because there's so much time where I'm just going to be walking to and from places. Like, what was the first episode? It was me <laughs> walking to Balmora for about half an hour. Hello. What can I help you with? Note from Nilos. He gave you a letter to give to me? Wonderful. Thank you so. I knew that he cared. You know, you don't have to do all this for me, and I really appreciate it. You're clearly a wonderful person. You should visit my friend, Emma Set. Brax in Teluran. She's a wonderful person, and I think the two of you would get along famously. Okay, where's this place? Let's have a look in my journal. In Teluran. Whereabouts is Teluran? Let's have a look on the world map. Uh, I guess we'll have a look at some signs. I'm not sure how else we'll find out where to go. So I think there's a signpost just up this way. Uh, Teller Rudd. Never heard of it. I've not heard of anywhere other than Palmora, Balmora and uh, Pal 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 Palgiad. Yeah, I guess those two are going to have babies now, which is nice. I still have no idea why the Emperor wanted me out of prison. He wanted whatever I did he wanted me out of prison and to trade me in a in a blade. So I'm I'm about as lost as you right now. Let's have a look. Anything here about Tal? No. There was a huge signpost at Palgiad, so it might be on there. I think I might remember seeing it, the Tal Talora, on there maybe. Let's have a look. No, nothing. In return, she suggested I face it to her friend in Tal Oren. I would do well to meet this woman and know that you might enjoy one another's company. I have seen strange things. Okay, I get it, but... Um, Tal, Tal Oren. Tal Oren. I'm not sure where that is at all. Tal Oren. Moon Morph. Wait. Moon Morph. I think I could, there's a mission I could do there. No, that's all. Okay. We'll see if we can ask someone around here. We'll sleep until it gets to morning. And then we'll see if there's any missions in town or just go exploring, maybe. Uh, hello? That's someone's house. Excuse me, mate. Uh, do you know... No, you're not going to tell me anything about that, are you? Blades. Empress. Oh, the blades of the Empress spies. Oh, okay. You so. may speak. Okay, are you going to tell me? No, you can't tell me what they are either. I want to know where Tal Taliad is. I'll be happy to help you, Buffkin, if you'll tell me what you need. Oh, I was, was going to get to that, mate. Pillage Pillageard is a small place, just the halfway trade house. A couple of merchants, a few colonists, and four Pillageard. I'll get there. Most of us are outlanders, colonists from the Empire, adventurers looking for our fortunes. The west of town, roads lead southwest to Cedianine, uh, Asian Heart, southeast to the Asidian Isles, to Phoebe, Balmora. Okay, and who else is around here? The guard, the boss, us. Have a look around the fort. The wind be on your back. Maybe I feel like there might be some missions in a, a place called 
for Palicius. Elder Scrolls, Skyrim, yeah. Hello. Let's have a look. Have you got anything? Uh, nope. Oh yeah, it's um the Death Shed Legion at Fort Darius that we need to get to you as well. Want something, friend? Hello. Hello, Buffkin. I'm Shadbok, and this is the village of Pelagiot, a little piece of empire right here in the heart of Dunmore East. Ah, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Any rumours? Nope. Okay. So let's have a look at my journal, see what else we've got. Because I can't see in that place anywhere at the moment. It's okay, so I've seen nine toes. I'll tell you what we'll do. Last episode, we had an encounter with a bit of a dickhead, and they they killed us. So I'm going to see if I can sleep till morning, and I'm going to go and get my revenge. Essentially, you kill me, I'll kill you. Simple as. In the game, of course. Um, but uh, no, I just want to um, have a room for the night, please. Beds. Ten gold. Yes. The bed is yours at the end of the hall upstairs. Thank you. Where's upstairs? Where's upstairs? <laughs> upstairs, there we go. I don't know if I can help you, but I'll try. Hello? New around here, huh? I'm Ladia Falagrius. Looking for someone in particular or specific place or looking for some services? What's your training? Speechcraft athletics. Uh, skilled athletes move short and long distances over land. Just, oh, I can't afford that. Okay, I thought, oh, I'll be good I then. Like this. Okay, you don't like me being broke? I mean, neither do I, to be honest. Yes, okay. Let's sleep. We'll sleep until 6am. Uh, we should also get healed from that as well. There we go. I have to say, I really appreciate all the support that I have been getting since I've I've come back. <laughs> it's been really awesome. Obviously, I have been posting daily, which is amazing. <laughs> I found that so much fun. Only thing with this, I'm thinking of doing another video when I post Morrowind because it's not everyone's cup of tea, so it gives them a sort of like another another chance so they can enjoy something on that day. I thought briefly about do a Morrowind every single day so it doesn't go on forever but I feel like that might kind of fill everyone's sub boxes and excuse me yeah, it might just start spamming people a bit and it might not be ideal and the people that do watch it might not be able to <laughs> spend an hour a day watching this so I feel like a week it gives them more time to catch up but I guess we'll have to see what happens. So I think this is the place. Sneaking up, sneaking up. I can't see much around here. It's pretty dark. Where are you? I, it's so dark, I cannot see a thing. I can't see! No, I can't see! I was supposed to be recording this an hour ago, so... Are you here about your wounds? You should find healing. I've just slept. Ah. Oh, right, I'm with Sarah. Has it not saved my health? Let me go back to sleep. Oh, okay. Okay, what time is it now? Uh, I can't see. <laughs> 
So, what was I talking about then? Yeah, I was meant to do this. What is this about, Orc? You got some training for me. Oh, I still can't afford it. <laughs> but I'm gonna remember that. Oh, can I sell anything actually? Because that'd be really good. I'm gonna get there at one point. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, apprentice lockpick gold. No. Okay. I wanted to record this earlier, and now the sun's going down, so it's shifting down there. And it shone right onto my screen, so I could not. Could not see a thing, and now we're up a little bit earlier. So we could try that again, or we could explore a new area. So we've been down that way, but if we go down here and then down that way, we could explore this area of the map. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if this is like. Skyrim with the enemies scale to you or if it's like Enderol if any of you have seen that it's so amazing It's a Skyrim mod, but it's like a whole new game. It's incredible That different areas are Just different levels by default oh, It's my dino friend I thought this is where I could go on the map oh, Okay, I guess that's it. We can go further along and Yeah, we'll go off another path. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm curious if different areas are different levels or if they're all scaled to me. And I think I'm still level one. I've not seen an option to level up yet. I remember the first time I played Skyrim, I got about an hour in and never leveled up because I didn't know you had to do it <laughs> manually. Is that a door? Hello? It's a tomb, or oh, this could be really good or really bad. But there's only one way to find out. Let's save. Uh, save. There we go. Is that a ghost? Whoa! Okay, uh, that was a bad idea. Why well, my weapon has no effect apparently, so we are leaving there. Now it's raining, but my athletics have increased 21, which is nice. Uh, what's up this way? Any? Oh wow, that is that is loud. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Okay, it's already dead. I think that's where I came from then. So we'll take a right, and I think then we'll be heading north. No, we're definitely not heading north. And in this general direction. Until we find another town. Then we can hopefully buy a chest plate. Not that way. And if nothing else, we're getting our athletics up so we can move around faster each and every time. Hello, are you friendly? Greetings, my friend. It is I, Nelson Lindor. Uh, I see you have heard of me. You have heard of me. I am not surprised. No, no, do not tremble in fear. Nelson Lindor is a reasonable man, hardly the cut throat someone made me out to be. I owe you a fair and healthy proposition. Um, a very simple proposition, actually. You will give me 50 serpents, and in return, you will be allowed to continue safely on your journey. Have you got any training? Sorry, there's nothing I can do for you. Um, I don't have 50 coins, so... Oh wow, this guy is actually tough. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm running away. I am running away. So maybe he's like a level guard to the next area. <laughs> Ow! Ah, oh, this... What dick? <laughs> he was a lot tougher than I thought he was going to be. Maybe if I had a chest plate. That's what we can do. Okay, let's not go down there. Let's keep our health. 
come back out here. And I'm gonna take us to the starting area. If there's a shop there. Trade house, yeah. What's that place called? Um Uh, Cydia. Cydia, okay. I forget how I got there. Yeah, it was this way, wasn't it? Okay. Get, get a chest plate, then we might be able to actually kill some enemies. <laughs> how does that sound? This thunder is... I slept, and now it's raining and thundering. I don't like it. I don't know if that's the same guy again, so I'm just going to save over that save. Let's speak. Let me relieve you of the burden of coin. No, thank you. I like my coin. So it seems it only happens if I talk to him, which is odd. But I, I, yeah, I missed my turn. It's up there. So we'll go back up here. Turn around and go to the shop. Yes, I remember now. I'm getting all flustered and confused. It was just—it was such a pleasant conversation, and then he's like, "Give me all your coins, or you—you you die." And then I died, and I'm not a fan of dying. Okay, now which way? Uh, to the right. Oh, it's it's a lot of walking around. It's we're gonna get there though. Obviously, it just takes a while to adapt to not even just a new game, but a whole new style of game. You know, this game's almost as old as me, 2002. It's it's crazy. It really is crazy. Might have a look in there afterwards. This rain. I'm gonna have to turn it down. I can't hear myself say anything. There we go. Oh, that's better. Oh, I couldn't hear a thing. So, we're back here, starting area. Where was the trade house? Not there, that's obviously not a trade house. Across the bridge. What brings you out in this mess? Uh, you, actually, trade house. Oh, okay, can I wait? Yes. We'll wait until 8 a.m. because that's when most places open. Hello, sir. Give me a little advice. It's worth paying for a little training. Okay. Well, I need to get some coin then. Um, you want something, the Thieves Guild has stuff as well, but I've not gotten any missions from them yet. Is there anything in my journal about them? Huh. Uh, this. Okay, no, nothing there. Nothing there, because I know we talked to our sugar lips last time. Welcome to the scenic Cedianine Gateway to Morrowind. Food and some drones from the trade house. Also, where you'll find anyone who was offered training. Okay, so I can't get a chest plate from there, but I can get. Mm, I can't get a train. I can rob people's houses. That sounds good. Yes. That sounds really good. Rob some people. Okay, let's go do that. Uh, do people have back doors here? No, they're a lot safer than in Skyrim when you have three doors to the same place. Uh, what about anywhere that's open? Hello. You've not really got anything yes, worth outside. stealing, have you? Do you offer anything? No? Okay. It's really just trying to find direction. I suppose I could speak to you, Tortuga. 
Go on then. No, you got nothing for me. Greetings and salutations. You again. I did something for you, and you said you do something, and I'm not sure what that was. Hello. You want something, friend? No, you just went towards me really angrily, and I got scared. You want something, friend? What is this about? Oh, go away. So I can't go. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'll have a look in the Adamasitus. Because I can't go one way. Because there's a guy stopping me. And I can just sneak past him. But I'm worried that he's there as like a level thing. So you should be able to beat him if you go that way. Ah, oh, yes, travel. I've got 70, good. Take me to... Mm, take me to Saram. Because I have no idea where that is. And it might be somewhere far away. And it's sunny. Where am I? Let's have a look. Whoa, yes. I'm so far away now. Here we go. Hopefully we're not out of our league. And we can do a bit of... Stealing or missions. Hello? Uh, okay. Red Mountain. What's the Red Mountain? It's the Great Volcano. Oh, okay. There's a volcano at the middle. Any rumours? Found the rogue base in the middle of the Ashlands. But she used the intervention to escape. And now she doesn't know exactly where the base was. Okay. I can find that at some point. Well, I know what anything in this game means. Ah, oh, it's slow, but slow and steady. That's how diamonds are made in that. I like this armor. Hey, I'm one of the same. You just look a bit cooler. I'm Balagamuk. This is the village of Saran, gateway to Balor. Are you looking for services? I would like a specific place. Temple? Uh, we've got the fields. I'm mainly looking for stuff I can buy places. I can, yes, that's places I can buy stuff. Uh, the last Saran. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Let's keep looking around. Because all these places look the same. This has got a banner on it, which is the trade house. So we'll see if anything is around here. Jamie. No, you've got no training for me. You? No no training? Okay. So we Go ahead. Hello? Uh, I can barter with you. But you're just selling herbs. No, okay. Services? No, I don't. <laughs> yes, Alcandy. Oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be a tough playthrough. But I am not giving up. Yes, that's worth a lot. Okay. Now we can sell it to you and make some money, barter. And I would like to sell these books I picked up on my travels. Oh, damn. I thought I, I, thought I, sm I smashed it, eh? What else is around Saran? Because I'm kind of stuck here now because I can't afford to get back. Trader. Okay, we'll go to the trader over there. That's just... Uh, we go straight and right. But like this right. I see a puffy carries. No, so down and then a left. This is, <laughs> this is rough. <laughs> uh, the trader here. Yes. Yes. Here we go. 
Sparta. Yes, there we go. Okay. Uh, you're selling mainly uh, uh, magic stuff, I believe. Expensive shirts. Uh, no armor, though. A shield could be no. Oh, a grace. How much is that? 70. Uh, if I can steal a couple more things, I'd be able to make it. Worth 250. There we go. So glad the AI isn't as advanced in this game. <laughs> yes. And what else did I just take? That. Offer. There we go. And now barter. And I can buy that iron curace wherever it's gone. Iron curace. Uh, somewhere around here. Iron curace. Armoring. Six. Is that eight? Oh, but there's a helmet now. That's worth 2k. Oh, there's a curace there. Five grand. Yeah, maybe we should just start nice and simple. Um, thank you. There we go. Found a good way to make money. Uh, let's put that on. There we go. Now we don't look as ridiculous. <laughs> we could do with some pants. Just how many pants? Boots. No, I'm looking for like proper trousers. Don't seem like it. No pants, expensive pants. No. Mm -mm. Okay, that's that's fine. We got what I wanted from you, mainly two hundred gold. <laughs> but we gave it back to you, so it's all good. Huh. Ah, didn't jump. Ah, anvil. I can't use the anvil. Okay. What's this place? The smith. Here we go. Could get some decent stuff from here. It's barter. Here we go. Some good weapons. What apparel? Oh, we got some. It's expensive, but we've got some good armor here. What's the carace? Sixteen. And what about this steel stuff here? Uh, 15 for the pauldron. I'm not sure where that goes. <laughs> okay, and okay. Um, so I could sell that for like quite a bit. But what about weapons? Do you have any good weapons? Mine right now on a frost does 11. That's better on that, but it's mm, a broadsword. That's better. That's really good as long as I don't frost it. There's so much tactics in this game. It's mental. Claymore. That's good all round. I might go for the axe. So as long as I don't frost. I can get it and then I can sell my sword. So then that'll bring me down to 130. But then if I sold my, if I sold that, I can go from a, a six to a 16. I won't be able to afford it straight away, but six to 16. But I'd lose some if I sold them as well. But if I went for the uh, the gauntlets or the oh. okay, we'll do that for the time being. We'll equip that. There is much to discuss. Much to learn. Hello. Okay. You may speak. Oh, so he's stopping me from going in here and literally just stealing all this. 
Okay. That's, I guess that was smart. So I can't just steal his stuff. Unless there's anything around here. Uh, no. So we can go and obtain some money. And then we'll have a look and see if we can get ourselves fully kitted out. So we probably need around 600. Probably around 600 gold. So let's save the game just before anyone walks in on us by accident. What's Sarah? Hello? You always rest here between pilgrimages. Okay, that's that's cool. Oh, there's so many people down here. Oh, if I just walked into a brothel. Oh, I, I have just walked into a strip club. Um, I must be hello? going, so if you could make it quick. Oh, hey there. It's a fine place, this is, huh? Fine place. Good place for me to just forget about my troubles. No use thinking about them. Stupid slaves. Why they gotta run, huh? Sure, be nothing to do if they didn't, but why they gotta hide too? Stupid slaves? Bah, I hate them all, especially the ones I can't find. Know what I mean? Of course you do. Been looking for this one. How's she? For months now, can't find him though. Always running and hiding, running and hiding. He's a man. How's a man supposed to earn his living? I'll tell you how. Running and looking. That's how. Even got myself a guide. I did. Good of hides his eyes. A good old hides his eyes. Kind of stupid name, if you ask me. Anyway, he's been showing me around here for a couple of weeks. Fat load of good that's done me. Hey, she? Uh, oh, I can find the slave you're looking for. Ah, sure, you go ahead and look. That'll be fun for you, I suppose. Go ahead, see if I can. How? You can even have half the reward. Uh, yeah, I'll have half of it. Yeah, sure. After I find him. It's tricky, Burger Cup. is probably because I don't know where to look. Running and hiding, running and hiding. And who hides his eyes? Good fella, that one. Not worth a damn, but a good fella. Took me all over the parts. Looking for that sleeve. Show me this place, too. So he can't be all bad. He seems to like the trade house in town. Okay. So we can do that, find that wealth beyond measure out there. Yeah. I'll have a look and see if we can find that slave and get a bit of money from that. Real gem, isn't she? Shut up, Snorri, you virgin. A caravan had told me he delivered a bunch of pilgrims. <laughs> I don't know why I was so mean to him. He's in a strip club. <laughs> He's not gonna be like, oh look at these sluts. Oh yep. You okay? Are you okay? Oh, you can talk. Oh, it's your house, okay. Uh, training, no. How's she? Nope, okay, you don't know anything about them. Um, I want to leave here because I uh, did not want to ever see a Kashyyyk with that little clothes on. So we'll head back to the trade house now, have a look, see if hide my eyes is there. And then probably start bringing it to a close, because I think it has been around an hour now. Let's have a quick look. 45 minutes, yeah. Pivot's cut out, yeah. So we'll go for another 10, 15 minutes, we'll have a look. Hide his eyes, don't know much about it, must be new intel. Okay, what, what about this regard orc? Uh hide his eyes. No no one seems to know. Well you're here in the trade house. So do you know? What they said he likes the trade house. <laughs> what is this about? What? <laughs> okay. I think to try and find this guy, but I don't know if I'll be more successful than the bounty hunter. Um, he had heard that Hajj had been hiding around somewhere town, but I'm not sure where. Of course, anything this man says is somewhat suspect. Yeah, okay, so no one seems to know. He said something about a trade house, so I'm going to look upstairs and see if there's anyone lurking around.
anyone hiding up here? Hello. Uh, what brings you to Saran? I'm looking for someone in particular. Yes. Hi, Desires. Nope. Hi, she. Nope. What do you ask of me? You said you don't know him. Excuse me? <coughs> yes, the escaped slave. Hunted for many weeks we did. Took the bounty hunter all around the area looking for him. I, I, I did. Never caught him, though. We didn't. No, never caught him. Drano's self-esteem. That slave trader, bad man. Hunts my people down, he does. This supposed to be dead, he does. That one does. And then, high, high desires. Yes, that is me, it is. What can I do for you? Training. Medium armor, Afla. Oh, no, I need money, not. Don't need to sell it. Uh, okay, so I found high desires. What about you? Go oh. ahead, speak. High desires. The Argonian, he came into town a few weeks back, spent some time in the trade house. Seems like a nice, nice enough fellow. Okay, uh, what about Haiji? I've heard about that one runaway sleeve. Derry Bell has been looking for. Not too much I can tell you though. He might check with Donius suffer him, the slave trader. He'll probably have the latest news on that kind of thing. Derry Bell. What a sot. Seemed like a decent enough sort when he came to town. But I think his spirit is just broken. So, except my journal was updated. People in Saran don't know much about the escaped slave. But they thought I'd speak to this guy, the slave are in town. Okay, the slave trader, bad man. Okay. So, where can I find him? I don't know where I can find him, but I can find him if I ask him, maybe. Which one am I looking for? Uh, the one with a long name. They have very similar first names. Okay, I get that. Where can I find him? Do you know? Oh, you don't know anything, do you? Thank you. He's a slave trader. Yes. How can I find the slave trader? Uh, nothing I can take from there. Whoa. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Might as well. Nothing else in there. No, might as well just take all the little bits I can. All building me up towards the armor. What I might do in between is I might just go around and steal some little bits and bobs. Record just in case any encounters happen. Just so I can get that that armor. What is this regard? Now if I was a slave owner, where would I be? He says yes, but where? Where would the slave trader be? Well, I think they did say talk to the guy in the strip club maybe? And then they'd know. They they might know. I think I might have made that up. So let's have a look. Oh, maybe the slave market. That. Mm. Sorry, I'm just not used to walking around a town where there's just a a slave market. You know where it says it on the front door. Is that just me? <laughs> Hello. I'm fine, thank you. What can I do for you? Haji. Haven't heard of him. An escaped slave, you say? Not from my shipment. And I don't have a lot of time to worry about the ones that aren't mine. Gets tough to track down the Argonian slaves. They're clever and fast, and other Argonians aren't likely to help. That makes it tough, because few others understand their language or habits. What about you? That bounty hunter, I've heard of him. Also heard he's been wandering around the woods looking for the same slave. Hide his eyes. I'm not sure what information you're looking for, stranger. Latest rumours? Arthur's Dren is cracking down on escaped slaves, he's hired bounty hunters, and self-steam. A terrible place, okay. So he doesn't know about any of the escaped slaves. Often difficult to track down Argonian slaves. 
Okay. So so what? So so, so what now? <laughs> it's all led me to him, and it's just been a dead end. Do you know anything? Okay. Yes, I've, I've just spoken to him. Derby Biel. Where would he be, Derek Der Biel? I forget where I'm, where I spoke to him. Was it in the... Speak. I don't want to speak. I've been speaking for the last 50 minutes, mate. Thank you. Okay, let's sell some more stuff to this dude. Barter. That and that. And that. And that. And that. That should be okay. Offer. Yes. There we go. And now, what are you? So I have. Oh. Do you not want that stuff? Okay. Yes, okay. Now I've sorted. Okay. So now I've got 205. What can I get with 205 gold? I'm still just short of the... Wait, has your stuff changed? Where's all your good armor gone? Unless you're a different... No, where's all your good stuff gone, mate? What? You had really cool armor, and it's all gone! Seriously? Come on, dude. Wait, maybe not. Oh, my, as if, as if it's all gone. I can't, I'm, I can't believe that, I'm, I'm livid. I'm so glad I stole all this stuff and didn't like go around missions and do it all. Ah, oh, it's crazy. How? <laughs> so I guess I just need to find my way back to the strip club and speak to my friend, pawnbroker maybe. But do you have any good armor? I oh, was he? No, it wasn't you. It was definitely him. That's worth 350, so I can't afford that yet. But that's quite good. What can I afford? Not that. <laughs> that's one bracer. Uh, I think I'll just keep saving up for the time being. So there was a big door in the middle, which led to a secret area, which was a strip club. But there was another door going in at the bottom. Can I seriously not get... You're gonna make me go all the way up through the house. Ooh. So, Earthy Delights, Outfitter, Smith, Guard Tower, Pawnbroker, Slave Market, Clothier, so it's not the trader. Okay, maybe it says in my journal. BL is a nope. Not. <laughs> oh my! Was it in here? Earthy delights. It's just a weird name. It's 
speak to you. Hey, it's you. What do I want with you again? Um, no, nothing else, nothing else at all. Okay, I am lost on that, so I'm gonna have to work out what to, <laughs> what to do. <laughs> But I mean, it's better progress than we were having before. So what have we done this episode? We have gotten some armor. We've died a few times. We've made a bandit and a lost woman lovers. And we've become a slave bounty hunter, I, I guess. High eyes, which is somewhere in town, unless... They said Hide Me Eyes showed up a few weeks ago and helped the bounty hunter, but no one hadn't seen him before. So what if the slave is Hide My Eyes? And there's a hint there because he's hiding. Yes! It's time to go and confront Hide My Eyes. Wealth beyond measure. Or should I say, Haiji. Haijai. Hi, Jai, hide eyes. It's the same. It's the same person. I figured it out. Call me Professor Layton. Sherlock Holmes. Under sun and sky, Outlander. Thank you. We greet you warmly. Thank you. I have solved this mystery. You are Haiji. No, I'm I'm not sure about that then. <laughs> Really not sure what to do then, but I am going to end this one. Uh, end it right here. I'm going to go around what in between and basically have a have a get bare grips with how everything works. Maybe find someone from the Thieves Guild, yeah, how to start those quests. Build myself up, get some more money. I won't do any quests or any story out of it. Just get, I'll just get myself money. Kind of get a grasp on where to go next episode. So we can do some Thieves Guild stuff. And then we'll move on to the, the story. So thank you if you've watched this. This is incredible. I hope you're enjoying it. It's something really out of my comfort zone. So if you are enjoying it, then that's great. I'm just... I'm only going to get better. <gasps> Hi, guys. No, it's an anvil. Okay, never mind. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on, um, I think this is going up on Saturdays, so I'll see you on Saturday. Wait, what was that? What, what? Did you see that? Something just flew over me. What, that, that thing? It's a slave! Whoa, what the, what the? Hey! Are you guys not doing anything? God! This guy's doing something. Thank you. Saving just in case I die here. Like, like, yes, thank you, God. See, at least he's doing something. I'm gonna see if I can run along. Oh, he's dead. Thank you. And I'll take that. See, at least we got one good guard here. Oh. See you next time.